If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Thank you for being part of our community. Good morning, Davao, Mindanao, North, and South, East, and West. Uh, this is your newscaster, Elijah Hilcacho. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. For the headlines, the weather forecast is a northeast monsoon affecting the northern side of Luzon. Intertropical Convergence Zone, also known as ITCZ, is affecting Mindanao. For the national weather forecast, a rainy Monday is ahead as scattered showers is expected across the Philippines. Local news. The Davao KDAC to offer jobs to former drug users. DTI reveals a slight price hike to some of the Noche Buena items. Davao News expressed concern over Vice President Sara Duterte's current situation. 76 wanted NAV in a week. For the national news, NBI to issue so, Sub Puena versus Duterte. BAI issues a shipping permit for some hogs entering Cebu. International news. Trump's determination to install controversial pics faces a next test. Trump says he'll leave abortion to the, to the state. Uh, it won't be so simple, he quoted. Entertainment news. The stars of The Wicked have been changed for good. Former Alpha Bass and Glenda's remembered magic. Beyonce shows Destiny's Child Bond is strong with appreciation pose of uh, Mitchell Williams in Broadway's Death Becomes Her. Sports News Janik Center's Caps dream year by leading Italy to the second straight Davis Cup title. Like climbing the Mount Everest inside the growling world of the Chess World Championship. Featured Stories Davos Hidden Waterfalls, a journey into nature's serenity. New York's rising food scene, the impact of the international flavors. Trivia, the Philippines is the home of the world's longest underground river. Weather forecasts. Northeast monsoon affecting northern side of Luzon. Intertropical convergence zone, also known as ITCZ, affecting Mindanao. For the national weather forecast, uh, Monday, I expected mostly cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms across the Philippines due to the prevailing northeast monsoon and a low pressure area. The eastern section of Luzon and Visayas may experience heavier rains and temperatures will range between 24 degrees Celsius to 31 degrees Celsius. Coastal areas should prepare for moderate and strong winds, especially in the northern side of Luzon. For Davao City, local weather forecast, it will have a partly cloudy skies with isolated rain showers expected in the afternoon and into the evening due to the localized thunderstorms. Temperatures will range from 26 degrees to 33 degrees Celsius. Uh, residents are advised to carry umbrellas and remain cautious of some sudden pour downpours. Local news: Davao Kadak 
to offer jobs to former drug users. The Davao City Anti-Drug Abuse Council or the CADAC in Davao City is offering jobs to 6,000 drug reformists as part of Drug Prevention and Control Week. CADAC office in charge Jafar Maro Home Salik highlighted the economic struggles often led to drug use, promoting their efforts to provide job opportunities in coordination with the Public Employment Service Office. CADAC has uh, visited barangays in Pakibato, Marilog, and Turil districts. Partnering with the City Health Office, they also provide medical assistance. CADAC aims to empower barangay, barangay anti-drug abuse councils to respond effectively and continues educating the youth about the dangers of illegal drugs. DTI reveals a slight price hike in some Noche Buena items. The Department of Trade and Industry Davao Region or the DTI Davao has observed a slight price increase in selected Noche Buena uh, products based on monitoring since October. Items like fruit cocktail, cheese, pasta, elbow macaroni, spaghetti sauce, and all-purpose cream saw price hikes ranging from 20 centavos to 17 Point sixty-seven pesos. Despite this, many brands maintain their prices. DTI released a 2024 Noche Buena price guide listing 236 stock keeping units across the 12 categories. Manufacturers have committed to holding prices steady until December 31st. Consumers are advised to check expiration dates, consider bulk purchases, and watch for promotions for saving during the holiday seasons. Dabuenos express concern over Vice President Sara Duterte's current situation. Dabuenos are very concerned about the Vice President's uh, challenges, citing the dominance uh, of Vice President from, uh, Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and his allies. Residents like Romeo Chavez feel Duterte faces political struggles due to her lower position, while tricycle driver Yulo Gregory pledged support through vigils and rallies. Duterte trended online after her chief of staff, attorney Zuleka Lopez, as was cited in contempt during the investigation into OVP confidential funds. Emotional scenes of Duterte accompanying Lopez to Veterans Memorial Medical Center went viral. Over 500 supporters held a vigil in Davao City with plans for larger rallies in Davao, Cebu, and Manila. 79 wanted NAB in a week. The Police Regional Office Davao Region, or also known as PRO Davao, arrested 79 wanted individuals, including the five top most wanted persons between November 11 and 17, 2024. Led by Police Brigadier General Leon Victor Rossetti, uh, the operation target violators of laws such as Republic Act 9165, the Comprehensive Dangerous Act. Among those arrested were 26 most wanted person and 48 others. PRO Davao vowed to maintain security across the region and safeguard the public. Last month, a similar operation from October 21st to 27 resulted in 67 arrests, including 11 most wanted and 6 top-tier suspects at provincial and municipal levels. National News NBI to issue Sabuena versus Duterte. The Department of Justice, also known as DOJ, announced it will be Sabuena Vice President Sara Duterte following her alleged assassination remarks targeting President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. First Lady Lisa Araneta Marcos and House Speaker Martin Romualdez. DOJ Undersecretary Jesse Andres called Duterte a self-confessed mastermind of a purported assassination plot and a said that a National Bureau of Investigation or NBI will handle the probe. Duterte will have five days to explain her statements. NBI has requested Facebook to preserve a video clip of Duterte discussing the matter. Duterte claimed her statement was misinterpreted but officials stress the gravity of the threat. BAI issues shipping permits for hogs entering Cebu. 
the Bureau of Animal Industry or the BAI has resumed issuing shipping permits for hog entering Cebu province, easing restrictions that cause significant losses or losses to the local hog industry. As Assistant Secretary for the Swine and the Poultry, Consta Constanti uh, Palabrica, who recently met with the Governor Gwendolyn Garcia, acknowledged the previous BAI leadership misinterpreted a Court of Appeals injunction regarding to the hog culling and zone mapping policies. Governor Garcia welcomed uh, the move and a call for accountability over the past economic damages. Uh, Palabrica assured the improved coordination with the capital and the streamlined processes with a full system expected by early 2025. Local hog racers and business owners express relief. Okay, international news. Trump's determination to install controversial picks faces next test. Donald Trump's Senate allies are defending Tulsi Gabbard, his controversial nominee to lead U.S. intelligence services. Amid growing the bipartisan concerns, Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth called Gabbard compromise, citing her. Uh, 2017 meeting with the Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and her aligned with Russian propaganda and some policies. Republican Senator Mac Wayne of Mullin dismissed the allegation as ridiculous and demanded a retraction. The security follows the backlash against Trump's unorthodox cabinet picks, including the Pete Hegseth for Defense Secretary and Matt Yates or Gaetz. Uh, who recently withdrew from the attorney general race. The debate highlights the tension expect in the Trump's second term confirmation battles. Trump says he'll leave abortion the, to the states. It won't be so simple, he quoted. President-elected Donald Trump administration will shape the national abortion policy despite campaign promises to leave it to the states. Legal challenges in two major cases, including federal abortion pill regulation and the emergency room access to abortions, reached the Supreme Court during the second term. Anti-abortion activities mm, are urging Trump to reverse Biden-era policies and return to the retractive measures. A key issue is the Mesfe Stone uh, abortion pill. Uh, with the GOP lead states pushing the tougher regulations, Trump's administration must decide whether to continue defending current policies in the court or adopt new regulations, facing uh, pressure from both sides of the abortion debate. Entertainment news. The stars of Wicked have been changed for good. Former Alphabas and Glinda's Remember the Magic. With the premiere of Wicked Part 1, Cynthia Erivo and Ariana Grande joined the exclusive group of women who have portrayed the iconic roles of Alphaba and Glinda. Over 20 years since the Wicked's Broadway de debut, actresses share how playing this complex characters changed their lives. The roles demand vocal, emotional, and physical strength, creating a unique bond among those who have played them. Many performers form lasting friendships, both on stage and off, and lean on each other for support. The Green Girl, uh, Sisterhood, continues as these women navigate the challenges of the role. Beyonce shows Destiny's Child Bond is a strong with appreciation post for Mitchell Williams in Broadway's Death Becomes Her. Beyonce showed love for her Destiny's Child bandmate Mitchell Williams with a heartfelt Instagram post on Saturday. Celebrating the Broadway's premiere of The Death Becomes Her. Beyonce, her mother Tina Knowles, or Tina Knowles and Kelly Rowland attended the Thursday night show at the Lawn Fontani Theater in New York, where uh, Williams stars as Viola Van Horn. The post featured a slideshow of the photos and the videos of the three divas at the event. 
with Williams and is costume and receiving applause during this, the curtain call. The musical adaptation of the 1992 cult classic film has been receiving rave reviews. Sports News Janik Sinners caps dream year by leading the Italy to the second straight Davis Cup title. Janik Sinner capped his extraordinary 2024 season by guiding Italy to their second consecutive Davis Cup title. Defeating Talon uh, Geek Sport 7 6 and 6 2 final against the Netherlands earlier, Matthew Bretonis 6 4 and 6 2 win over Botic Van Zenkov gave the Italy 1 2 0 lead in Malaga, Spain. Sinner, who claims his first Grand Slam at the Australian Open and US Open and won the ATP Finals, became the first player in the history to win two Grand Slams the ATP Finals and the Davis Cup in one season. Italy also won Billie Jean Cup, completing the historic double. Like climbing mountains from the Everest inside the growling world of the Chess World Championship, Ding Lirin, the reigning Chess World Champion, will seek to defend his title in Singapore against an 18-year-old Indian prodigy, Yukesh Dumaraju, known as Gukesh D last year. Ding triumphed in a growling match against the Nepo, Nep, Nepominachi. His mental and physical endurance tested over these three weeks. The intense focus required in this championship, which has been held for 138 years, demands not just mental sharpness but physical stamina. Both players have faced immense pressure and exhaustion, but the winner will join a select group of champions in the history of the sport. Featured Stories Davao City and Waterfalls A Journey into Nature's Serenity Davao City is a home to some of the most serene and stunning waterfalls that remains of the, the beaten path. Among the favorites are the Taamugan, Aliwagwag and Asik Asik Falls. This nature's wonders offer a peaceful escape for adventure seekers and the nature lovers alike. Accessible via trials, uh, a trek to this waterfalls promises unforgettable views, cool waters, and a chance to disconnect from the city life. For locals and travelers, Davao, uh, Davao's waterfalls provide a refreshing uh, retreat into untouched landscapes. New York's rising food scene, the impact of the international flavors. New York, the city of food scene continues to evolve with a growing appreciation for international cuisine. From Filipino adobo to utopian injera, New York is embracing diversity on every plate. Local, chief, uh, local chefs are mixing flavors from around the world, pushing the boundaries with bold fusion dishes as a global uh, influences uh, shape the city's restaurants. New York has become the true food lover's paradise. Visitors and locals alike are encouraged to explore neighborhoods like Queens and Brooklyn, where the best international flavors are waiting. Trivia The Philippines is the home to the world's longest underground river. The Puerto Princesa Underground River, located in Palawan, Philippines, holds the title for the longest navigable underground river in the world. Stretching over 24 kilometers, this UNESCO World Heritage site winds uh, through lush forests and limestone carts landscapes, making it the most visited destination for nature lovers and adventure seekers. It is also known for its incredible biodiversity with unique species of plants and animals thriving in the area. That is all for our news today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, this is your newscaster Elijah Helcacho. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Good morning Davao!
If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Thank you for being part of our community.